Yo, 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 this is Lil Yachty, man, and uh, this is Double XL, man, uh, Spring Issue Edition. Pictures came out there, picked a few things out of my closet, you know. These, these some canvas pants I had, with this black Mickey Mouse t-shirt, you know, some red chucks. I had a Saint Laurent shirt, CDG, uh, total neck and some uh, number nine jeans, some special made number nine jeans. Very rare, you know what I'm saying, with uh, some Chanel sneakers. So, just a couple things out the cloud, but no stylist, you know what I'm saying. Atlanta, I'm definitely music driven, you know what I'm saying. From what, you know, I was, I was a real big, real big fan of go back to Rich Kids with Schooly, you know what I'm saying, then you go up to, I was Big fan of Key, Fat Man Key. I mean, I was one of his biggest fans before I met him. I always wanted to meet him. Uh, I loved, I loved McConan in his early stages. Chubby McConan, he had the hits. Um, Mako, Father. You know what I'm saying they were all so dope. I was like in high school, just watching, you know, all the stuff they would do. I, they were, all, I lived in the suburbs. You know what I'm saying? So, but they were all in Atlanta. Atlanta was just so cool to me. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was just, it was different. You know what I'm saying? So, 2 9 and them. So, I don't know, you know, I, that was the, you know, Atlanta then 21 Savage came. I knew 21 when he first started posting music. I didn't know him, but I, I like, I knew who he was. Mm -hmm. He was so dope, you know what I'm saying? In the very beginning, you know, I, 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 I was the number one supporter of Lil B, you know what I'm saying? Lil B supported positivity, you know what I'm saying? It was like looking to a TV, you know what I'm saying? Your favorite. You know, TV shows, like, whatever he said, dude, I was just down for it. So I just supported positivity, you know. I mean, I, I knew it wasn't no wrong in that, but I didn't really know why. You know, as I progressed and started calling myself king of the teens and seeing how, like, you just, when you get to this point, you really, um, you're really, you really affect people. You know what I'm saying, like, especially teenagers, like who I am. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I started calling myself king of the teens, you know, so joking around, but then it became a, a real life thing where, like, Teenagers and youth, the youth all over the world is looking up to me. Like, you know what I'm saying, the tweets I say, they 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 remembering them. And like the things I do, you know what I'm saying, become a part of their life. And you know, what I'm saying? it's just a big responsibility. And you don't want to just, you don't want to put out, you know, negativity and a bad image. And you don't want to just feed the growing youth stupidity. Rap for the longest was about, you know, gangsters and like whatever but you know I'm, I'm like here all about fun you know what i'm saying like living life you know what i'm saying chilling shit yeah man so y'all didn't check out double excel magazine